everybody. Gregor Arturo here in uh, Asheville, North Carolina at the, um, the landing, Intentional Comedian West Asheville. And a uh, place I've been hanging out a bit, really cool crowd. And I wanted to make a video quickly talking about a recent channeling today. Not the August 4th channelings, which are everywhere and everyone's talking about. It's very interesting, a whole other subject. But the channeling from Nikola Tesla, which is more related to my channel. And so I want to read this channeling. Um, it's not your typical channeling, but there's a really important message in it regardless of where it came from. That's something I've believed in, and uh, or you could say that I've understood intuitively and unconsciously, but this message is what made it fully conscious. I want to share with you what's making this fully conscious in myself. And so, uh, this was posted uh, yesterday, August 1st, um, and this is however dated June 18th, 2012. They just posted it yesterday. Um, Bob, my husband, Bob, my husband, and I were having dinner together in the middle of a bite of salad. I, powerf I powerfully felt the energies of Nikola Tesla arrive, just as if he was there. He was. The chill immediately began to come in. First, he let me know that he loves my enthusiasm for the new energy, but he says I have no idea what I'm talking about. I couldn't agree more with him. I'm no scientist or engineer. I just know this is the direction we need to go on the planet. Then he proceeded to let me know that for the new technologies, the new energies to come to the planet, the masses, the people are going to have to demand it. It won't just be provided. We're going to have to demand that it be provided. And more so, he says it has to do with directing the flow of money for it to be provided. He said that he did not pay enough attention to the money element while on the planet. He didn't give it credence. This is the same cycle I've been repeating myself. Um, but it was the power slash money that determined what was presented to the people. Change the money direction and the flow of money concerning decisions about the free energy of the new technology and you change the world. Um, but it will need to be demanded from the people as a whole. It will not come from the top down. They continued by asking if I would be willing to channel and communicate these messages from him out to the world. I agreed, but I don't feel competent to do so in the technical knowledge. He said that this is perfect because I won't have a technical predeposition one way or another. Then there was more, but I didn't capture it as if I seemed I got waves of energy, crown and heart chakra, and then toning on my part, and then a huge download, and here we are. So I'm going to contact Dana Shino and, and uh, uh, inquire into this more and see if there's anything worth exploring here. But the important thing with this is saying how Tesla didn't give a credence to money. And there's a lot of lightworkers, including myself, that were in that exact same realm. What I've been realizing in the past year is that money is energy, but energy isn't money. Money is just a spectrum of the energy. But on this planet, it's a very important spectrum. And it's, it's how we go about energetic exchange on the planet. For the most part, it's, it's a numero uno in terms of the way we go about exchange. We need to change that process in that, um, well, with what happened with my shop, my shop that got shut down on Nikola Tesla's birthday, uh, is it what came to my realization with everything is I can't keep half-assing what I'm doing. I'm constantly trying to make bills and get ends meet and meet with investors and get all these financial things to take off, but it keeps falling through. And half-assing the projects doesn't get me anywhere. The, the Tesla Tower is still not complete. Um, and I don't have the right tools and resources to do it. Um, I do, but it's, it's really still half-assing it. I'm not doing it the way it should be. The money needs to flow in the right direction um, in that you need to convince the people. So you can even say with this video, it's like, hey, if you really want this technology, you have to support the technology. You have to support the inventors. You have to support the minds and the scientists and the engineers. If you don't support them, you just say, it's gonna change. Well then people like me are just gonna keep working out of a garage and not getting anywhere. And so talking to the right people is really important. What's interesting about me reading this channeling today is today I was supposed to um, meet, and because of circumstances it didn't happen, I was supposed to meet with one of my um, big investors here in town. However, I've been feeling really uncomfortable about him and having conversations with people who've also worked with him. Uh, at this next meeting, I'm gonna tell him that this, we're, we're ending this, this um, interaction, this exchange. And uh, because where the intent is and how things are flowing and that 
the only way this technology is going to take off is when the people want it, when the people want to implement it. We want to do it open source. You can't patent nature. We need to implement nature, but we have to want to live in nature. This is organic technology. And having, having this type of technology, we're moving away from organic ones. And that's a huge, huge topic in itself. And people will be like, wait, what, iPad, organic, what? It's not the same thing. But it's, it's really, it's a big conversation. I'm not gonna go there right now. But this is a really important concept. I feel I understand a lot of things. If you gave me a million dollars, I could revolutionize this world tomorrow. My best hope is teaching people and continuing to try and try. And really it's to do. To know and not to do is not to know. I can teach you all you, you all you want. I can share everything I know about physics, all my revelations and intuitive um, experiences that have come to me um, through meditating about physics in our universe and my own personal experiences seeing how water moves. And because to me, water is ether, if you want to call it, it's the greatest, simplest metaphor to relate the two. Uh, is I, I need to put it into action, I need to do something with it. That's, say, building the Tesla Towers. And then I will truly understand. Not only will I truly understand, we will truly understand it. And the whole hundredth monkey experiment starts to come into play. Uh, in that, if we can get a hundred people on this planet to understand what I understand, and I bet there's maybe a hundred people on this planet who understand what I understand right now. Who knows? We're getting really close. Then it's just going to go viral, and it's going to become ingrained in our subconscious. Some of these ideas are really big. If you don't know what I'm talking about, and go explore the hundredth monkey, monkey experiment. These are big metaphysical things that are starting to branch in with science. We're taking this old paradigm of science and it's merging with something new and really implementing with consciousness and metaphysics. It's, it's a whole different perspective because that's just it. You're including perspective into the science. Perspective becomes the fundamental variable in science. Science is the observation around the perspective, but we have to take into the perspective as this fundamental variable. And so, with me letting go of this investor is it's going to hinder the process. I had um, a friend recently call me uh, that relayed to, to the same thing and that he feels like he has to move on because something is not right with how the money is flowing, how the intent is flowing behind the project. And so I get a lot of positive support but there needs to be some sort of manifestation, some co-creation taking on. And I've had my own troubles working with people and we all have but this is where we need to take the steps forward um, and, and merging into personal and mutual responsibility in these situations. And so, a lot could happen this week. Really, a lot could happen this week. But right now in the present moment, I'm still moving forward with what I have to do, my projects, um, with my orders, which have to relate to metaphysical tools which are helping people. And there's just so much going on. But the big thing here to realize is we have to change the way we're perceiving some things, such as our economy and, say, this free energy. A lot of people talk about it, but how do we put it into motion? A lot of people say, Greg, I don't have the mind like you, so I don't know, how, how can I help? And it's like, well, first you just have to say is, well, I support you. I really support you, and I'm going to help you in any way I can, be it a connection or, or whatever that may be. And so the next step is finding the, the right people to work together um, to make this move forward. And uh, I'm going to keep moving forward the way I've been moving forward. But this is also me putting some thoughts and manifestations into play and really thinking at what is at the heart of this channeling. And I've said it in this, but like to say it again of its importance, we need to change the flow of our of our money, the direction in which it moves, in which we go about energetic exchange, because it's a reflection of these sustainable technologies, and that they're energy systems. And if we want to change our technology, we have to change the way our energy flows. The money is just a reflection of the energetic systems. 70% of our world's economy, and I've heard people say it's even more than this, um, is in energy, okay? And so it's very reflective. And so people are like, why didn't Thrive have more uh, science and math and physics in it? And they talked about one of the fundamental things is the whole social aspect behind the technology. 
and we want to revolutionize the world with this technology. And you could say maybe that's a better way instead of saying saving the world, is we're revolutionizing the world. We have to revolutionize our social system. We have to revolutionize our economic system. We have to revolutionize who we are and how we relate to everything. And when that starts to happen, the technology is going to come. It's going to manifest. Tesla Tower is going to be ready when it needs to be ready. Until then, we need to enjoy the ride and start being present. Yes, present right here, in this moment. Feel it right here. Because that presence is what's going to bring a lot about. It's going to bring a lot of beauty into this world. And so the simplest thing is, if you want to build these Tesla Towers, start being the Tesla Tower yourself. Start broadcasting the love. Start broadcasting the co-creation and how we want to manifest this world. So when we start vibrating all in that wavelength, the coherence is going to go through the roof, through the roof, <laughs> and you'll even begin to imagine what's going to happen, and that's going to be the beauty of it. You're going to be so present, not thinking about all the potentials, and putting on really specific manifestations that you're trying to get about, and sort of letting go and being in that vulnerable state, that present vulnerable state. Where does it go? It goes into a beautiful gift the universe offers you, because you don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. You really don't. Forgetting is forgetting something out of the process. I forgot about the potentials tomorrow. I can think about them. I can analyze them. But then I can just wait to see what's going to happen and be present with those potentials they pop up. And be present with my decisions. Present with my integrity. Be here. Be right now. And you'll get to fully experience what 2012 has to offer. Namaste, my friends. You have a good one. Bye.